so I just drove back uh, from work and my wife notified me that we are now Disneyland annual pass holders for this year. There's a, there's a lot of emotions with that. I know my wife's been wanting annual passes to Disneyland again um, since when we first got them pre-pandemic, it kind of got cut short and we got issued a refund. And, and, and we did discuss the possibility with, you know, the changes of recently with Disney of more availability of annual passes. I, I've, I've entertained the idea of buying, you know, the, the cheaper, I think it's like $6.99 Disneyland annual pass. But they didn't have those available today, apparently. They only had the most expensive tier and the middle tier, which uh, for annual passes is $1,100. Um, so my wife apparently purchased the middle tier. So $2,200 just Mickey has. Um, apparently the annual passes start tomorrow. So like I, I could go tomorrow to Disneyland with my annual pass. But but I'm not. That's that's the. I, I have no plans to go to Disneyland. I mean, I literally just got back from Disneyland like two weeks ago. I kid you not, two weeks ago. And I now have annual passes for 2023. So what does this mean? It means that there's incoming Disneyland content because I clearly have to go. I need to make, what, five trips to make my money's worth? Six, it's essentially free value. Um, so I need to do that. That's coming up ahead. But I think, uh, you know, on the on the plus side, if I'm going to L.A. and I'm going to go to Disneyland, this gives me more opportunity to go to more collectibles and sports card shows in the, in the L.A. area that I wouldn't necessarily go to because now I'm more inclined to make more trips to LA and go to these shows because I can pair it with going to Disneyland to get maximum value of this $1,100 that is just taken out of my wallet. Take it for what it's worth. I guess it's, I know, I know my wife's thrilled, but for me, for me, I need to digest it still. I mean, this could be a good thing for the channel, you know, more content from L.A. L.A., you know, host amazing sports card shows. And hey, maybe I might set up for one of those L.A. shows. I've never vendored in L.A. shows. I've definitely vendored here in the Bay Area. Maybe I might ride in our horizons and, you know, vendor in L.A. That wouldn't that be an idea? So so I, I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see where this goes.